Hello and welcome again. Once again, I'm Craig O'Neill and welcome to THV 11's YouTube channel. We're here for a very good reason. You. You getting to vote in the Diamond Book Awards for the best children's book K through third grade. There are 13 finalists and this is one of them. There might be lobsters. See if you can find yourself in this book, meaning is there something going on in this book that has happened to you already in your young life? Let's find out together with a Diamond Book nominee, There Might Be Lobsters. There Might Be Lobsters, Carol Crimney and Laurel Molk did the illustrations. Here we go. Come on, Suki, you can do it! said Eleanor. She stood at the bottom of the stairs to the beach and waved to Suki. But Suki was just a small dog and the stairs were big and sandy and she hadn't had lunch yet and her foot hurt a little and she might get a shell stuck up her nose and she might even tumble down on her head and then she'd need stitches. And besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the top of the stairs with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, all right, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a tisk and a huff and carried them down the stairs. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She tossed a beach ball Suki's way. But Suki was just a small dog, and the beach ball was big and beachy, and it might hit her nose, and then it would pop, and it might be too loud, or it might knock her down, and she might never get up again, and she might have to live on the beach forever, and eat seaweed to survive. And besides, beach balls attract lobsters. So Suki sat far away from the beach ball with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki! Eleanor swooped that pup up with a tisk and a huff and cradled her in her arms. Come on, Suki, you can do it! Eleanor stood at the water's edge and splashed a little splash at Suki. But Suki was just a small dog and those waves were big and they were whooshy and they were salty and they were wet and they might toss her out to the middle of the sea and she might float all the way to Tasmania or even Florida and she might be swallowed by a whale and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit. And besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the edge of the water with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. She shook her head and dove into the waves. Suki sat and watched beach balls bouncing and big boys running and umbrellas flapping and lifeguards blowing loud whistles and waves splish splashing with Chunkamunka floating out to sea. Suki barked for Chunkamunka to come back. Chunkamunka started to sink. <gasps> Suki started to paddle. She paddled past a big beachy ball and through a huge salty wave and over something that might even be a lobster. Until she had Chunkamunka, he was safe. Suki had saved him. She felt braver than the bravest dog because even though she was very small, Chunkamunka was smaller. Oh, Suki, I knew you could do it said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a yay and a hooray and swung them very gently through the air. Suki sat in the sandy sand with the wavy waves and watched for lobsters with Chunkamunka by her side. 
and they didn't see one all day. <laughs> oh, I've Wonderful. There might be lobsters. Has that ever happened to you? You think of something that scares you, and then once you get used to being where you are, it's not as scary as it was when you first thought about it. Sometimes our imaginations can make us more afraid of things we don't see. That's the, what happened to, to Suki, the dog. Well, thanks for listening. Find more books, find more Diamond nominees on THV11's YouTube channel.